What's up guys, this is Chris from Warrior Soul Fitness. A lot of the things I'm trying to focus on with you guys lately has to do not only with fitness of the body, but also fitness of the mind. And uh, one of the things I really want to do for all of you is to help you live a happier life that's going to lead to better health, better wellness, uh, better success, better love, um, and a better life all around. One of the things in my life that I think had held me back for such a long time is that in many ways I was seeking to do things that I thought would please other people. For instance, I spent years in graduate school in a PhD program because I thought it would please members of my family and that people would be impressed with me when they heard that I had a doctorate degree. In a lot of other ways, I struggled for years to build muscle, to, to put on body mass because I wanted people to perceive me as being big and strong. Um, the fact of the matter is this, in the biggest thing, the biggest way in which these things held me back is that they kept me from taking action on the things that I really wanted to do with my life. For instance, I loved health and fitness. I still love health and fitness, but my obsession with pleasing other people put me into a different direction and put me into a PhD program. Um, I love being healthy and being well, but for years I disregarded that so that I had a singular minded pursuit of just body mass and being strong. Um, for a lot of you out there, I think that a lot of the holdback, the reasons why you may or may not be happy has to do with whether or not you're following what your soul is trying to tell you. Um, you have a deep down desire to do something. You have a dream to do something. Um, it is a common human trait. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of you are probably lying to yourselves about what that something is. Because you tell yourselves that, okay, I have to get a secure job, or I have to look this way for people to respect me. I have to, um, you know, dress this way so that people will not look at me like I'm a loser. And so we all regress to the mean. And that happens with everybody. Even if you're in the gym hitting it every day so that you can become big and swole or whatever, um, we all regress to the mean because what you do is you go and you listen to other people. You listen to people you look up to and you try to become those people. There's thousands of people following them who are trying to become those people too. So in essence, by trying to do that, you regress to the mean. Um, you go to college and to make a better life for yourself, but these days everybody's going to college. So you do that in order to try to get a secure job but you regress to the mean in the end because you have college debt or because um, you know you have to pay your student loans and you're not going to make enough money because most jobs don't pay that well out of college. So I guess what am I trying to tell you? Um, the biggest thing here is that one, I'm not trying to tell you not to do bodybuilding and I'm not telling you not to go to college. What I am telling you is not to lie to yourself. It is so easy to lie to yourself and say, okay, I don't think I fit anywhere, so I'm gonna try and fit into this group. What you need to do is know yourself. Understand who you are. Understand what your real desires are. And don't allow any outside influences, whether that be someone like me here on YouTube, or whether that be a teacher, whether that be a parent, to come and say to you that your true desires, what your soul is telling you, are not something that should be pursued. At the end of your life, you're not going to worry about how much money you had. You're not going to worry about what types of clothes you wear. You're not going to worry about um, you know, whether or not people looked at you and thought you were big and jacked or anything like that. You're going to want extra time with your family. You're going to want to have had something that you could leave behind for others to enjoy. You're going to want to have had some sort of legacy, whether that be through your children, through your actions here while you're in this life, or through writings or whatever your pursuits are. But the idea that we have to conform, the idea 
that we have to be like everyone else, the idea that we have to fit in, that can be a real dream ruiner. That could be a real dream crusher and it could be a life ruiner. And so I'll ask all of you, um, take some time in your day, sit back, meditate, maybe listen to some binaural beats that you can find here on YouTube. Um, maybe sit back and turn on your favorite song and really think about you. Focus on different parts of your body. Focus on the parts that are tight. Focus on one body part at a time. And then finally focus on your head and your thoughts. And it's in sitting down there and in really thinking about who you are and what you want where you will find your true life's purpose and, and um, your life's pursuit. So that's just a thought. Um, this is Chris Albert, Warrior Soul Fitness. Any of you ever have any questions about anything, hit me back at gettingshredded at gmail.com.